guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be taking you through the process of me getting ready for my hen do so I can't believe the day is finally here it's just come around so quickly it's crazy um so yeah I'm just literally gonna be getting ready with you guys I haven't filmed a makeup look let alone a get ready with me in so long it's been quite some time so I'm really really sorry about that guys um but yeah I thought I'd turn on the camera today and film this look I have no idea what I'm doing yet my dress is like a how can I explain it it's like a kind of whitey silvery champagne-y sequin dress I'll show you guys at the end of this video but um yeah, kind of want to go for like a nude lip, um, just because we're going to be eating and drinking like all day, so yeah, I'm going to be taking the I Heart Revolution Tasty Coconut Primer, this is amazing, and I also um, moisturised with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, just so you know. So yeah, I'm all set, I think, ready for the hen do. There's 22 of us. Yeah, there's 22 of us going. The minibus is picking us up in around two hours, so yeah. I wanted to give myself um, plenty of time to get ready and get changed. And I've already curled my hair, as you can see. I, I didn't even address the elephant in the room. The reason my hair is <laughs> like this is because I've obviously curled it. I do need something to hold this out of my face. Two seconds. I'm just going to pop this clip in as well. I hope that's not going to ruin the curl. But, um, yeah. Just so it's out of my face. I'm actually going to start with my eyes today. Um, so I've applied that primer all over my face, but I will go in with a second primer um, when I move on to my base later on. Um, but the first step I'm going to do is take my... Anastasia Brow Freeze. I've been really, really liking this stuff, guys. Just take my spoolie into the product and brush my hairs up. Yeah, so John had his stag do last weekend and he had the best weekend ever. Um, um, my hen do it today so um so yeah the minibus is picking us up and we're heading into Cardiff we're going to Las Iguanas for some tapas and cocktails um and then we're heading to Glee Club I've never been to Glee Club before and I've always wanted to go so I thought this is the perfect opportunity and then I'm assuming we're going to be going for some drinks after that then as well. Once I've applied the brow freeze I just like to press it um, into the skin so I'm like pressing the hairs down flat to the surface of the skin. Okay I'm gonna start with the eyes like I said today and I can't find my eye primer anyway so I'm just gonna go in with some concealer um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the last time I'd done, like, full glam. Like, honestly, I haven't done full glam in, it must be a year. It's gotta be. So, it feels really, really nice today to be sitting down and just doing some glam makeup. I'm first gonna just carve out the brow. With this concealer, I didn't even tell you which concealer I use. Sorry, guys. This is the um, collection Last Imperfection in the shade Porcelain. I really, really like the collection concealers. I feel like I spend so much time getting everyone else glam. I don't actually do glam makeup on myself ever.
going to blend that out further with my beauty blender. And same this side. Yeah, so I had my dress last week, guys. My wedding dress finally arrived. Um, but I've lost a lot of weight, so it's like two sizes too big for me now, which is great. But yeah, they're going to alter it for me. Um, and our wedding is literally in five weeks time which is mental I can't believe it's come around so fast but I'm so excited we both are we all are our families and friends are super excited as well um, so yeah things are starting to feel very real um, now that it's my hen and John's had his stag and my dress is back it's just it's all so close I can't quite believe it, but yeah. I'm just gonna um, set the lids in place with some powder. Just setting the lids with some translucent powder. So the reason I wanted to do um, the eyes first today is because I want to do like an quite a dramatic makeup look which I haven't done in ages so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom you guys in for this part hopefully you can see what I'm doing I will do the brows later on I just like to um, leave that brow freeze set into the brows for a bit first before I go in with any um, brow product so yeah okay so for my eyes I'm going in with my um, Be Perfect Makeup by Jar Clientele Palette um, and I really don't know what shades to do guys I'm feeling like neutral but also with like a pop of glitter and maybe some black I'm just gonna do one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera I'm just packing on the shade Brownie and I'm taking this up and over the lid and just tapping it first just to get the most colour pay off. So this is going to be my transition shade and then I'm just in circular motions to blend that out then I'm going in with the shade Asher which is the lighter shade and I'm just gonna place that underneath the brow and also on the inner corner to lighten those areas and then going in with the shade Dirty Tan and I'm just blending that in to the crease and then going in with the shade Too Much which is a dark brown shade and I'm just going to be placing that in out of V I'm actually guys I was going to do a halo eye but I feel like I might just do a cut crease because I don't want like too much dark on the inner corner yeah I feel like a cut crease isn't like too heavy if you know what I mean Picking up a bit of concealer on a flat brush and I'm just going to use this to cut the crease
And then I like to use my finger to blend the edge of that into the outer V. And then I'm gonna go in with some glitter whilst it's still tacky. I'm just gonna spray my brush with some Mario Badesco facial spray. And then I'm going back in with the shade Too Much and I'm really lightly just going over the top of that cut crease just to give it a more like defined look. And then taking the shade Just Black, which is literally just black, and I'm popping that in the outer V, just tapping it to begin with, like so, and then blending that out. I'm just using Makeup Wipe. These are biodegradable, by the way. I only buy biodegradable now. Um, and I'm cleaning up that edge, so just dragging that up, like so. Um, so, yeah, going back in with the shade Brownie. And I'm just tapping that on the edge just to sharpen the look going in with some liquid liner this is the Revolution Pro Rockstar matte liquid liner like so and drag it back okay I'm going to pop on some mascara and then lashes this is just the um, wet and wild max volume mascara it's pretty good um, I'm honestly yet to find a cruelty free mascara that I love because I used to swear by the L'Oreal telescopic but now I just like pick up any random mascara that's cruelty free and I haven't fallen in love with any as of yet. Okay. I am going to like touch up this eye. I'm kind of happy with how it's looking. I'm sure once like the rest of the makeup is on it'll all come together. Um, I feel like I want the gold to like pop more so I may like add some liquid glitter on top if I have any. Um, I did pick up these lashes, the W7 Royal 6D lashes. I think I'm gonna try these today. I haven't worn like thick lashes in the longest time. Just look down into the mirror and then adjust them into place. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've just finished the other eye off camera. I've also filled in my brows. Um, I just find using brown eyeshadow is what like lasts best for me lately. I haven't found like a recent brow product that I absolutely love. I was using like the NYX brow pencil for a while but I've run out. Um, and I've just been sticking to eyeshadow since and yeah I really like how they look so moving on to base um so you see me moisturize and prime my skin earlier 
Um, and I am going to go in with another primer. This is the Ordinary Hyadea and Silicone Primer. I like to use this one mainly on my T-zone um, when I'm doing a full glam look. I am actually going to apply it all over today because <laughs> I want this to last all day and night. Um, we are going to be out until like midnight so I don't want my makeup coming off at all. Yeah, so I've gone, I've gone for curls today. I've been um, wearing my hair straight a lot um, and also like wavy, but I haven't actually curled it in ages. So I thought I would do that today. Just taking any excess up my neck like this. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite drugstore foundations actually. This is the Milani two-in-one foundation in the shade Sam Beige. Really, really love this. I just find it lasts all day on my skin. So taking that down the neck slightly. And then what I like to do before blending that out is just go back in with my Mario Badescu just to spray all over. Um, just gonna start buffing that in with, I don't even know what this is, my Morphe foundation brush. This looks slightly too dark for me at the moment, but it's okay. I'll blend it out, I'll make it work, and also my dress that like, comes up to you, so nothing is actually on show. Um, yes, yeah, so I have been super busy recently because I started a new job. I'm now um, a lecturer in theatrical makeup in a college. So I'm teaching level three theatrical makeup and I absolutely love it guys. It's literally right up my street. So that's what I've been up to. We also hit 100,000 followers on TikTok. I have no words. I have no words. Um, we went out for a little celebratory meal. Me and my fiance John, my brother and his girlfriend and two of our best friends um, went out for a meal to TGI's and they all told the waiters that it was my birthday and made me stand up on a chair in front of the whole restaurant guys, like the whole restaurant. I was mortified. <laughs> um, just going back in with that same concealer as earlier. Um, on a normal day I just pop it in the corner year and year but because I want um, a bit of extra coverage today I'm pulling it down here as well on the side of my nose. I'm taking it all the way down the centre of the nose, forehead, cupid's bow and chin. I like to blend out the under eye like this and then kind of leave it in this shape just so it has a bit of extra time to set in place and then I'll go back in and um, blend it out a little bit later. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the last time I done like a full coverage like this either. It feels so weird. But yeah, that's why I wanted to turn on the camera today. One, because I haven't spoken to you guys in ages. Two, because I haven't filmed a makeup look in ages. And three, because I just don't get glam anymore. I really don't. Um, it's a very rare occasion. And the next time I'll be getting glam is probably my wedding day. And even that won't be full glam like this. Um, I kind of want it a bit more minimal for my wedding. Then I'm going to go in with some cream contour. I have been loving this product. Like, It's probably the best um, cream contour I've ever used. 
um, and it's just the She Glam Golden Sun contour and it comes like this. I seen um, Michaela use this on TikTok so I wanted to pick it up and try for myself and it is so good. So I'm just taking it around the perimeter of my face. It's like not too dark. It's a nice natural contour shade. Just taking it down my nose and uh, my lip and jawline. Yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well. The sun has come out, ready for the hen do. I'm so happy because they actually forecasted rain today and I was like, no, please don't rain. I don't plan on taking a coat. <laughs> um, yeah, it's sunny, so um, thank you, universe. I'm then gonna go in with cream blush I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm all about cream products lately. Um, I just love how they look on the skin. I found this one in um, Primark. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury cream blusher. Um, and it's just the Cream Wand Luminous Finish Cream Blusher by um, Primark in the shade Pink. Just dotting that here. Um, not an ideal product for clients, but um, if you're just using it on yourself, I think it's great. So, just blending it in like that, and then go back over with my beauty blender just to blend everything together. Like so. Okay. I'm then going to take some translucent powder. This one is just by Primark as well, guys. Um, I need to do a makeup order, but I'm going to do that for the wedding. Just baking a little under the eyes, chin, and forehead. I can't stand leaving powder on my face. I just feel like it's a recipe for making everything cakey. Okay. Okay, so once that's blended out, I'm gonna go in with a contour kit. My favorite contour kit is uh, this one by KVD Booty the shade and light palette but um, I've run out of the light shades so I'm actually going to go in with my She Glam contour kit. This is pretty good actually guys. Um, so I'm going to take the banana shade which was the middle lighter shade and just press that into any areas I want to highlight. is like I'm then gonna go in with my new favorite bronzer and you're not gonna believe it, it's actually by Primark again um, this range um, is apparently all supposed to be like dupes of Charlotte Tilbury it's the same range as the blusher um, and apparently they're only gonna be in stock till Christmas that's what the lady said on the counter anyway so yeah run don't walk using a really light hand I'm tapping that up into my temples. Just try and push it into the hairline and a little on my jawline 
and down my neck. And then I just take whatever's left on the brush and I pinch the brush and just tap it down the sides of my nose. I don't like need to contour my nose too much, but I just feel like it shapes my face and just um, ties everything together. Luminoso blusher. So basically when I'm doing a glam makeup look, I apply all the cream products and then set everything with all the powder products. This is the most beautiful blush, guys. It has like a highlight to it. I also apply a little bit of that to the nose. Yeah, it's kind of like a highlight at the same time. I love it. Um, and then to highlight, actually, I'm going to use the Becca Champagne Pop, which is now discontinued. And I only have this much left, but yeah. Becca are closing down or they've shut down. Just to apply that to like... I don't like drag it up and round like I used to years ago. I just apply a little bit on like the apples in my cheeks and then kind of blend it out to my finger and then down the centre of my nose. So again, just blending it out and then wherever's left on the brush, I just kind of go up here on the forehead wherever the light would naturally hit. Okay, and eyes. And I'm going back in with the clientele palette. I don't know whether to do white on my waterline or black. See how I feel. I'm taking um, the shade Dirty Tan and just running that along the bottom lash line. Going in with the shade too much, which is the dark brown shade. And mixing it with the black. Just to pop on the outer corner. I think I'm going to go for a black liner today, guys, which is something I don't do very often anymore. So I'm just going to take the Ellie Girl Glide Gel Liner Okay To highlight my inner corners I'm taking my Colourpop Flexitarian Highlighter You guys know I've used this for about 10 years Love it I will definitely be using this on my wedding day. I've literally got to hurry up and do my lips and get changed because I have like a half hour. Okay. For lips, I'm going in with the Primark Lip Liner in shade Toffee. Um, I was on the hunt for this lip liner for ages. I finally found it. liquid lips. I'm going to top that with my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Ophelia. Okay. I'm going to spray my face. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. I'm going to quickly do my bottom mascara. I'm gonna quickly go get changed into my outfit, let my hair down, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is the final result, guys. Um, I'm really happy with how the makeup has turned out. Um, my hair is quite bouncy, 
Oh, what's this piece doing? My hair has turned out quite um, bouncy, so I'm hoping it'll just drop a little bit later. Um, and yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. I'm going to show you the outfit really quickly. A bit further. So this is the outfit. I've never worn anything so sparkly in all my life, but I feel like if there's any day you're going to do that in your lifetime, it's your head and do. So yeah. So yeah, I love how this look turned out. I hope you guys did too. I got sequins sticking to me already. Great. Um, yeah, so I've got to go now and jump on the bus. Wish me luck on my hen do. Uh, God knows what state I'll end up in, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.